Hi everyone, Joji here, and for today's showcase, I got Rem Swan 7 scale figure by Good Smile Company. As you can see, her packaging is a little bit worn out since I got her second hand. Ignoring the flaws, I still think the overall aesthetic of the packaging is nice. On one side, we see a focused illustration of Rem, and on the other, we see a splash of blue in the background. And at the back, we see important information about the figure and pictures of Rem in different angles. Here's the look from the bottom and top. Let's open it up and take out her blister packaging. She has two layers of clamshells. I'll deal with the main layer first. Let's take out her base and rem herself. For the second layer, it houses her weapon, extra hand parts, and her alternate demon head. This assembly is very straightforward, so let's just connect rem onto the base. Here is her first look. We have Rem wearing her characteristic made outfit holding a tray with a tea set on it. She is definitely showing us that she is working hard in Roswell's mansion. Even with just this base look, I must say that this is really a good figure of Rem. Good Smile did a phenomenal job. I love her bouncy white step pose which brings Rem's bubbliness into life. She has a brick design base which actually has some cool features. We'll get to that later. Her maid outfit has all these frills and creases. All the details are beautifully executed even when you look at the back. Good Smile really hit the home run with Rem's facial expression. It looks so perfect. Her hair color is very accurate. Even the tea set that she's holding is very detailed. Because of this figure, I just truly appreciated the design of her maid outfit. I never paid much attention to it before but as I keep staring at it, I have come to love the design which is very cute and lovely. Paint job and shading is top notch. I wasn't able to find any paint flaws which is great. For sure, when compared to Rem's famous crystal dress figure by Shibuya Scramble, this one really can't compete. But one can argue that more collectors would actually want this one, especially those who want a very nice scale figure of Rem that is at a reasonable price range. Now let's going on to her second look. This look wasn't advertised in the packaging but since her skirt is detachable, we can remove it and display her just like this. It is a little bit lewd but it attracts a specific kind of collector, ones who have a particular interest. The premise for this look will not be for everybody. But I believe it is really great to have different options to display our figures. And I think for this look, Good Smile Company intended to add this feature because her underwear also has nice floral designs and folds. Honestly, she looks great with or without her skirt. For the final look, I'm going to put her skirt back on and swap out both her arms. This is her Morning Star weapon. I love that they've used a real chain for this one. We will just need to insert it into her right hand. Remove her head. Switch out her faceplate with the alternate one and then put the interchangeable hair part that has her horn. We then reattach her head. Here it is. This is the last pose of this figure and it is stunning. This is the demon mode rem. The lightweight chain gives more value to this figure since we can adjust the posing of her weapon in various ways. Her rage filled eyes are so perfect and honestly it is a little bit creepy and that only means one thing. That her expression is really convincing. The blood splattered on her face is a great addition. It gives her that dark ominous vibe fitting of her demon mode. This is probably the pose that I'm going to use when I display her. But I also love the original look so I might switch it up from time to time. I tried to wrap the chains on her left arm so that it would look like she's ready to smack some flesh up close. I told you earlier that her base has a nice feature. Well, if you have the 1-7 scale figure of Ram, you can connect their bases together. Ram surely looks great, but unlike Ram, I don't have as much feelings invested for her. If she's available in a good condition, with no issues, and at a good enough price, I might consider getting her but not really a priority for me for right now though. So that is it for today's unboxing and review video. I hope you've enjoyed this fantastic 3-in-1 figure of Ram by Good Smile Company. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing since I'm still a small YouTube content creator and that will be a big help to my channel. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!